Hej då! Today is the 100th day of school, so I'm getting dressed. Um, we sell, no, actually it's not the 100th day. Today is the 102nd day of school, and I'm getting ready and getting dressed for work. Uh, my kids were celebrating the, um, in a 102 Dalmatians thing, and so my students are gonna come in as Dalmatians. And no, I'm not coming in as Cruella DeVille because there's nothing cruel about me. So, I'm, I'm, I changed up the name or changed it up. I'm Kindella the King. And so, I give my kids a long story about how I'm Cruella DeVille, DeVille's um, long lost nice sister or twin sister, I should say. And I'm the kind one. And my job is to take care of the Dalmatians, not try to harm them for personal reasons. So I come up with a whole little spiel to my students about how I'm not Corella DeVille, I'm her long lost twin sister, and my name is Kindella the King. But yeah, anyway, they're coming to school dressed up as Dalmatians and um, they're coming to school dressed up as Dalmatians. So when I get to school, I will give you guys a kind of overlook of what we're going to be doing for today. But yeah, happy 102nd day of school. guys I'm heading to school so I will show you my entire outfit once I get to school it is kind of rainy and as you can see it starts approximately 6 43 and so yeah I'm headed to school and I will see you guys when I get there okay guys so <clears throat> here is my room I have a little sign my little screensaver here um, each table has a math or writing or in science um, activity. Here they're going to be using cups to build the, build the highest tower. The cups are here, along with the measuring tape. And then the bucket, they're going to be rolling to 102. That. And then this is the booklet they're gonna use with the science activity. So we'll do math and writing in the morning and then we'll do our science activities this evening. This table, they're gonna be building a doghouse, writing 102 compliments, that should be fun. This table, um, I'm gonna actually put Tootsie Roll Pops in this bin here. And then this is the activity. And this is one of the activities we'll do this morning. It's kind of like a math graphing activity for um, a lollipop. Here, they're going to be making a Dalmatian parachute all the materials and all the things here and then their writing activity is how many ways can you make or their math activity actually because we'll do math and writing this morning and science stuff this afternoon how many ways can you make 102 using addition okay and then the last station again a science and this is writing if I were 102 years old and they were right about that and then the science activity we'll put marshmallows and toothpicks in here I have not put them in there yet um, they're going to build a Dalmatian. Okay, so this is our room. Give you another look. So basically, all I do is put tablecloths on the table and a red and dog bin on each table. The little um, these baskets, all the baskets came from the Dollar Tree. The red baskets I've had forever, and then the um, dog pails I bought those last year. And guys, here's my outfit of today. It's gonna be quick. I'm wearing a crown with pink earrings. I have on a pink polka dot shirt with a jacket 
black pants and if you can see them pink shoes the jacket came from walmart it was clearance earrings are made from my girl keisha keisha makes the crown i've had forever found it in my cabinet in my classroom and it comes with a little wand so i'll be carrying that because remember i'm not cruella de Vil, i am candela the king and um the shoes came from walmart shirt i've had forever from kohl's and then the shoes i mean the pants are also no actually the pants are from target they're like oh try to get the camera down so you guys can see they're like wide lit black pants but yeah this is my and yes i will see you guys in the next clip licks it takes to get to a tootsie roll pop so everybody make their prediction is it going to be less than 102 exactly 102 or more than 102 make your prediction everybody circle your prediction all right so the next one it says get to licking which means everybody's going to pick i'll come to the side of the table in just a minute everybody's going to pick a lollipop oh, no. <laughs> I don't, I if don't you know said mine. it's going to take more than 102 yeah, then you count past 102 and see if you get there so you're going to have to count what and lick Let me see what this count is. if you open it you got to keep it so it's strawberry or red or cherry or something like that i think i got lime okay oh my gosh is this purple yes yeah, great okay i'll take this all one. right get the licking <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so bad. <laughs> it tastes bad? Really? Eight. One. Zero. Eight. I see some really good compliments here. Can you get to 102 compliments? Of I see you're not. trying. I'm doing 100. Very good. 100. 100. Oh, very good. Still the same. Still same. Oh, it's still the same after 102. Very good job, guys. Love it. These colors make me happy. Actually, if you want to, you can use white, even though the paper's already white. Here. Oh, that looks like an interesting story. Can't wait to read it. Cannot wait to read these stories. When I was 102, I'm going to draw a sports car. But You're going to draw a sports car? Yeah. That's, I like that. That is exactly what Mrs. King is going to be in when she's 102. A sports car. Still living a good life. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to draw a Bugatti. Whoop. Oh, no, boy. Got you. All right, so what you're going to get, each person has a bag that has a ruler, a tissue, and a dry erase marker. What do you think we're using the tissue for? To erase, okay? Instead of using our classroom erasers, we're going to use the tissue. Now, you will not throw the tissue away when you're finished. You're going to give it, put it back in the bag or in the pocket for the next part. First thing first, I want you to go ahead and take out your tissue your ruler and your marker and then I want you to pick up your ruler everybody pick up your ruler okay uh, so on your ruler guys let me draw your attention to certain features that are on the ruler first of all this ruler is 12 inches so if you look on the side where the numbers are spread it farther apart that is your inches side if you flip it over you have more numbers what do you notice about the numbers on the other side of the ruler the numbers are closer together. This is the side you measure with using centimeters. Inches and centimeters are called units or to, uh, units of measurement, okay? So we're actually gonna measure these dog bones using centimeters and we're also going to, and this is the side that says inches. Do you see that IN? That's the abbreviation for inches, okay? And remember abbreviations end with period. The only thing special about math abbreviations, they're not used with capital letters like Mrs. and the other abbreviations we talked about. Yes. On the other side, it says CM, which means centimeters. This is the abbreviation for centimeters. Okay. Centimeters are the numbers that are closer together. Inches are the uh, the side where the numbers are further apart. 
All right, so we're going to be on the inches side first. So look at your dog bones and make sure you're on the side that says inches. Okay? Now this gets tricky because when we measure, we may end up um, our bone and it may end up not falling directly on a number. It may fall in between a number. Always start with the first. Y'all see that little first line there? Make sure your bone ends or lines up with the first one. We're on number one. Number one. Number one. So we're measuring the first bone. All right, so you should actually nope. It's, it should be six. It should be six. Everybody, everybody, look at Miss King. Look at Miss King. Look, 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 look. We're on the inch side. You're going to make sure you see the very end. Elijah, look at me, baby. Guys, y'all actually see y'all have to tear that down because that's why the cups were over here. You're supposed to be using that space. Alex can get up and knock that all down. That's not how we're going to take them down. Plus, you have to use all 102 cups. If you don't use all of them, then that's not meeting the challenge. Bring the tower over here in this space. All right, so you're going to put the end. Look, look, look. Put the end here. And then see where the other end of the bone ends. If you look at this, it goes. it's between what two numbers? Four and five. Four and five. You know what that means? It means it's four. No. Five. No. Four and a half. It's four and a half because it's halfway between the four and the five. Yes. Seems like somebody already knows what to do. So on your sheet, you are going to write, and let me show you how two ways you can write four and a half. Open the door, Brianna. I know it has to You can write it this way. Y'all see that? That's four and a half. Or you can write it this way. 4.5. Both of those mean four and a half. You can write four and a half that way or 4.5. Weird. I'm going to throw it back. There's no more toothpicks in here. I'll get you some more. That's not mine. We're getting there. Okay, guys. Now cut. There's no more toothpicks. Pressing the moles on. Sorry. How are you starting? Five, eight, ten. How are we going over here? Y'all working together? Yeah. Let's. If somebody knows how to take that tape apart, let them help you instead of wasting all the tape. It's more. We have more. Yeah, I kind of need to use mine because it's it's an emergency. Now remember, your dog treats have to be able to stay in your bowl. If it falls through, then you we need to reconstruct. If that's possible. what our room looks like after our 102 day of fun. All right, see you guys in the next clip. So our bulletin board that we made today says, happy 102nd day of second grade. This is our morning, what we did this morning.
So y'all, the day is over and I am sitting in my classroom. Um, about to get out of here because I just don't even have the energy to do anything. Do anything as far, actually, I'm gonna say, I have prepped a little bit because it is actually about 6.25. So I've prepped. My student teach teacher, um, she's, this is coming up her third week back. She did the early start program at her um, college. So she's back ready for her full-fledged student teaching. So she will be doing, teaching three lessons um, next week. So I don't have to plan too much, but I still like to plan just in case because I'm just in that mode. So I'll be planning a whole day, but she's going to do her lessons or whatnot. So I'm not feeling too pressed or time to um, do a whole lot. But I do have like my stations ready. I have um, everything planned as far as my newsletter and what I'm teaching next week. Just have not pulled and, you know, made copies for other things. But my stations are ready because it's pretty much the same thing we do pretty much every week. Um, and I, But I don't have my um, baskets ready that I normally get ready Monday, my Monday and Friday, Monday through Friday baskets. I can't even talk. I'm exhausted. And I got this pain in my back. <laughs> Okay, here it goes. But yeah, I haven't got that ready, but I have it ready. Not worried about it, but I'm about to go home because it's about 6.30. But I wanted to quickly show you um, what my um, slots look like that we used today and what all we did. I'll try to remember to link everything. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. Okay. Okay, so here are my slots that I used. So this was just a... Um, what do you call it? A presentation slide, just something that was up just for a visual. I usually just do that. Um, this is my morning slide that they look at when they come in in the morning or what they looked at when they came in in the morning. Our agenda, I always put agenda up because not only does this help my boys and girl, girls know what the expectations or what the plan is for today, it helps keep me on track. I mean, this has been a lifesaver and this pretty much stays on my smart board if I don't have anything up that we need, just to make sure that we're on track. And this, I mean, this is just how, what I have to do to keep on track. So this is what we started out with. You saw that on the bulletin board. And if you haven't, it'll be in the video. This is what our morning work was. And then um, we discussed our five stations that we did that this morning. We did writing and math stations. Yes, writing and math. So these stations are um, deal with writing and math. And then I actually put each activity. I had a link here to show them examples of compliments. And no, I did not make them write 102 compliments. I told them that was the goal. If they make their good, if they don't, it's fine. But I taught them how to do one word compliments. And then they had to actually choose a student's name to write here that they were going to put the compliments to. And then their name went here. So yeah, something fun to keep them busy because we did this station style. They had to rotate station to station, so it kept them busy. They had to write a story about if I were 102 years old. Um, we did the lollipop, lollipop licks challenge, which was very fun. They actually really, really enjoyed this because they got to eat Tootsie Roll Pops. And you'll see some clips of that later today. Um, how many ways can you make 102 using addition? We kind of focus on that word sum and addition and what that means. This was pretty fun. They used the dice and they had to roll. See how many times it took them to roll to color each um, square of 102. So they made their prediction. Here, how many rolls do you think it will take? And then at the bottom, after they finished, they had to write how many rolls that it actually took to color 102 squares. Now, each time they rolled, it had to use a different color. So that kept them pretty busy. Each station, I gave them about 15, 20 minutes. So we did these in the morning and then in the afternoon after lunch, which we had a whole what, hour and uh, after lunch and recess, we usually end up about an hour and 30 minutes. So this is what we did for the afternoon, which was really fun. Um, so we did STEM activities and this was strictly STEM. So they had, and I think in the um, part one part of this video, I show you how I made the little books, the STEM books, because they actually had to document their activities as well as do the challenge. So one um, STEM activity was a challenge of a cup tower. And of course, all of this will be included in the video. Then we had a Dalmatian challenge. This was really cute. <laughs> okay. We had, and I have the challenge as well as the page that was in their um, STEM booklets. Okay. So they did the challenge. I had to, I showed them the challenge and the, the page they will be completing. Um, this was the parachute. Our parachutes are done. Everybody got theirs done. We're going to test them out on Monday. Didn't get time to test them out today. And I'll include that in um, somewhere in the video as well. So you get to see that. 
Um, they made the dog house and to see how many dog treats they can hold. We actually used the Scooby-Doo um, dog treats, which they got to eat after they did them. And they, oh, 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 this was their 101, 102 day snack. So during snack time, I gave them a plate of marshm marshmallows and chocolate chips. They had to count out 51 marshmallows and put them in a bag. So they had a plate of chocolate chips and marshmallows. They had to count them out, put them in a bag and 51 and put them in 51 marshmallows and put them in a bag because they had a pack bag there by their plate and then they also had to count out 51 chocolate chips and put them in the bag and mix them up and it turned out a cute black and white kind of like a dalmatian snack which all of these resources i'll link in the description box um i'll link these in the description box because they are off tpt i did not make these resources so once they got them finished they just placed them on the stage ready to be tested on monday and so here's an example of what they look like they each got a cup, some yarn, they got their little sign, they had to put their Dalmatian in it, and we're going to drop these off the rotunda and see how well they do. Now this child didn't put a bottom on, okay, most of the students put a little bottom on because I actually think we're going to see if that makes a difference in how they land or how long they stay in the air. So yeah, this is this parachute, okay. So we got those ready to be tested on Monday. Here, some of our things got left behind. We made hats today. That was part of our morning work. Dog treats. Now this student really, they did really well on this. I was so impressed, but he made a pretty big one. Some of them left their treats behind. This is going in the trash. <laughs> but they're just um, the Scooby-Doo graham crackers. That's all they are. Oops. We have the Scooby-Doo graham crackers, so that's all they are. Um, or the cute little Dalmatians that they made. I was really impressed. I think the one, this one's a good one. They didn't get time to add all the polka dots that they wanted. But their mailboxes are full. We're going to send homework on Monday because it didn't get to that either and go over our red books on Monday. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm about to get out of here. I'm exhausted. Fun filled day as usual. So, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys in the next video.